Now, I did mention that even as we celebrate favor, we celebrate the fact that all things work together for good to those that love the Lord. We celebrate that with artists, and one of the artists is uh, with us right here on Gospel Cruise. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How yeah, are you doing? I'm, I'm fantastic. I, I just certainly hope that uh, you're comfortable in our chairs. I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> this is an interesting chair, but yeah. you know, it reminds me of when I was. Uh, little and would play with ties and okay. all that so, so yeah it's a good feeling it's a good feeling yeah. it takes what's, you back to you know yeah <laughs> what, what's what's your dream car though because you know we're all about cruising here my dream car yeah. is um range rover sport okay um i'm not i'm not a huge car fanatic mm -hmm. but that particular i think i've seen that in one of the videos yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the <laughs> Tefinali video, yes. Okay. Uh, that that actually that experience is what made me just you know say this has to be my car one of these days because okay. it's just amazing. You don't feel the speed; it's just so comfortable, and mm -hmm. it's, uh, everybody just wants to have it. You know why I asked you your favorite car? It's it because <laughs> that's how you're going to feel on this show. Uh -huh. When we cruise, you'll be so comfortable; you won't feel the bumpy ride. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but how are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. Okay. Um, God is keeping me, mm -hmm. and. Uh, life is amazing okay you you recently got married eh? yes yes i did when uh, when when was that exactly september 5th uh -huh. um an amazing time in my life okay. i got to say i do to my best friend okay and yeah i've been enjoying marriage so far i mean when god is involved in anything best believe that it's smooth sailing okay yeah. um when did you guys meet we met 2013 okay. um sometime in may okay and um, we were friends from then on and we got into courtship we were officially mm -hmm. ushered into courtship in september on mm -hmm. september 5th 2013 mm -hmm. so we got married exactly two years wow. later okay. yeah what's 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 the best um marriage advice you got because i'm pretty sure everyone was you know in your ears no it has to work like this it has to work like that what's the you know in 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 one sentence the best advice you've gotten so far um you know we're privileged to be surrounded by a lot of people who believe in god and i guess the best advice is always just to pray together mm -hmm. and love one another and always involve mm -hmm. i mean <laughs> it's a, it's a lot i mean everything that involves god uh -huh. is always the best advice and for us it has really worked because um we're we're friends mm -hmm. we pray together we we minister together also so it just helps our relationship so much so much more there's so much oh, he's an artist he he does sing oh okay um though when i say minister together he has featured also on my on, on my albums mm -hmm. and uh we also minister together in church and okay. also when we go out for outreach mm -hmm. we do minister together okay. yeah my producer is telling me to also ask you the worst advice you've got in this period the worst advice mm -hmm. The worst advice is to probably try and sort things out on your own. Okay. Um, for me, I believe no matter how hard it is, my husband is my best friend. So no matter how difficult a situation is, I can only sort it out with him. I can't go out there and sort it out with someone else, unless of course it's God. If we can't talk between the two of us, then you know, already it brings a bridge in our relationship and in okay. our marriage. I'm beginning to feel like I'm on Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things, good stuff. I, I think one day when I'm doing an all love related topic on Gospel Cruise, I'll call you, we present the show together. I would be glad. Yeah. I mean, I'll be glad to also have my husband because he's, uh -huh. he's a man of wisdom. And okay. you know, he I learn a lot from him. I learn a lot from my pastors. Uh -huh. And it's it's, you know, I always, used, I always had this misconception before I got saved um, that marriage was a difficult thing because uh, I'd seen so many people get cheated on in their marriages. I'd seen so many people who, so many women who spend time alone at home and their husbands are away with the guys mm -hmm. elsewhere. Uh, only when I got saved and I realized that being married to a person who also loves God, mm -hmm. it kind of, it helps, not kind of, it actually helps your relationship because your, your marriage is a reflection of the relationship that you have with God. Mm -hmm. So you you it's very difficult for you to want to be apart you know even even just when i'm in the kitchen and my husband is in the sitting room i'm always babe <laughs> what are you doing or he'll be checking okay. up on me because you know we love to spend time together and even our relationship with god mm. kind of gets to that level where you you feel it when you when you've drawn away from god okay you when you've when there's been a, a lack of prayer you f you feel it in your relationship and god reminds you look 
we need to spend some time it's together. Just like that. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> now, we have a segment also uh, when we get to talk to artists called Random Cues. Okay. We'll just ask you some random questions. Random questions. Question. Don't think too much <laughs> about it. We're just, okay. you know, having fun with, with you. I mean, it's about being honest, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last time you cried, what happened? The last time I cried was mm. in church um, during worship. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm beginning to think that you're playing tricks on me because no. obviously church is recently. No, yes, uh, it was Sunday. I no. mean, it's 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 when you when you're in an at, in a certain atmosphere, you know, you're just allowed to to let loose and just allow God to do His thing. And um, why were you crying? Why was I crying? I would say it's tears of joy. Okay. Yeah. For me, I'm, I'm an expressive person. I'm a very emotionally expressive person. So even when I worship God, sometimes I just, you know, I, even when I'm excited, I'm happy. The first thing I do is cry. I remember the day my husband proposed, I literally wailed and wailed and wailed. He had to get up and say, are you okay? <laughs> are you going to say yes? <laughs> I know. I know. And mm. I said, no, I'm fine. I, you can get back <laughs> and then ask me now. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that, is, that is the last time I cried. Okay. Your worst fear. My worst fear, um, <laughs> I, I can't exactly say I have a worst fear at the moment. You know, I've kind of gotten to a place where I always remind, whenever I feel afraid, I remind myself, as the Bible says, uh, be anxious for nothing, but mm -hmm. and through prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. So every time I feel even a little bit afraid, I, I remind myself that, you know, God is in control. So I erase my fears as, as, every day, as each day goes. So I, okay. I don't have... So you're just going fear. to hide from us what you I'm, <laughs> okay. no, I'm not I'm, I, I don't I don't think I mean obviously some of the recurring fears that would come maybe would be failure failing to 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 to, to uh, be a good sister a good wife a good uh, minister failing to failing even in in my Christianity I guess maybe you could say failure would be a fear but then like I said <laughs> when <laughs> When I rem uh -huh. when I rem when I go back to the Word of God and I and and I meditate on the Word of God, I get rid of that fear. So yeah. Okay. The one thing you wouldn't want people to know about you. Why would I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want them They're to watching. know. This is us. <laughs> this is us. Seriously. Well, yeah. I don't think I have that deep of a secret, huh? Mm -hmm. Um. Something you've never revealed on an interview about you. Something I've never revealed on in an interview. They don't know it yet. Wow, I don't know, cause I, mm -hmm. I think you're very clever with writing your <laughs> questions, Chilese. No, no, look, uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. the thing is, ever since ever since I got saved and I came into the public light, I, I I have sort of been very open about my life because my life and the past mistakes and all of that is what ministers to people. Mm -hmm. That is what you know allows people to to relate also and to, to see that God can take you from this situation to that situation. So I don't think there's really anything that um, I have. I, I wouldn't want anyone to know because yeah, okay. yeah anything else I'm sure God will reveal in His own time. Okay.